What is going on guys? This is Lost Jetty here, and today we are back for some more Super Auto Pets. Let's freaking get it. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. If you guys are not, thanks for sticking around. Let's go right into arcade mode, and we're going to play this a little bit faster today, or at least that's the goal. We are not in the experimental build, which means give me a fish. Excuse me, give me a roll, and give me... So realistically, I see Otter buffing the fish. Then artillery strike, but put the can or put the otter as cannon fodder. That's what they say. We are the rude bosses. Uh, excuse me, rude doggies, because doggies are amazing. And I'm going to take a sip of my ginger ale. Much better. Looks like we're running up against a horse build, which is not exactly ideal for us. We'll leave it here. Um, and also, guys, talk to me as we as we take a fat draw there. Uh, talk to me what you guys want to see from this series if you guys want to see more experimental build more of this more of something else i mean i'm totally fluid with what i put up on the channel guys so be honest open and honest down in the comment section below if you're like hey let's see some new content or hey let's see more, some more super auto pets uh speaking of let's focus on what we're doing here uh triple ant does seem like a good possibility so we're gonna buff our secondary ant here get a double buff on this probably should have sold our otter but neither here nor there and turn and see where we fall um i think our otters out next turn we will gladly make a level two ant that should hopefully give us something some better to work with uh cannon fodder build over there is working for him quite well um also for for context look at that our fly is doing work um we're actually our mosquito mosquitoes doing work i wish we had a fly uh, for context in the world of the yeti this is my first week back um, at the university doing things, which is kind of weird to think about. Um, today specifically was my first quote unquote full day of class yet again, but ironically enough, we weren't in person. And the reason why I say that is not because of everything delightful in COVID. Um, it was actually because we had snow today. And that is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Because it means that I got to get to my beauty sleep, and I am not well without my beauty sleep and my shower. If you've met me and I have not showered yet that day, uh, you are not going to like me. Not just because I stink, which is also highly likely without a shower, but also because I'm relatively irritable. Um, but anyways, we uh, had our classes, I cannot complain. Uh, the dirty rat is going to be dirty dead, and we're going to lose. Honey badger strategy didn't work for once, that's a little bit disappointing. Um, Swan obviously comes in, and actually, no. We pull the ant that we already got the benefit from. Double the swan. See what our other options are first. Um, I think in this situation, having honey and a uh, meat of bone are just better. However, we're gonna lead with our weaker unit just to, you know, throw them off. Similarly, let's throw some honey on a mesquite. Just to kind of whittle them down before our powerhouse. And then next round, we should get the double benefit of the double, oh my god, headshot. <laughs> uh, well, that, that is the strategy. I will give you that. I think you're going to end up throwing yourself here, though. And But who, who dares wins? The Honey Badger Strat did win something, so I guess it was worthy after all. Um, I don't think I want to bring in the Mosquito. I think I'm going to be pivoting out of that relatively shortly. Um, I do think there is some benefit, however, of scooping a rabbit when I see one, and also dropping that in. I say we roll it. I do love a good ox, especially a double ox like that. So what will we pay to make it happen? Well, we can sell our mosquito here. Bring an ox. Bring in another ox. And then I think we want to bring the bunny to the front and run something like that. I will freeze the garlic because we're going to want to put that on our ox. No. He's going to get, as soon as something dies in front of him, he's going to get a buff. So we're going to leave him. We're going to leave him as is because he would just clear the buff anyways. He would just clear the buff anyways. Um, Golden Poop Man over here has been playing the game longer than I have. Very quickly. Um, I should start saving up for one of those fancy dancy toppers, but I have yet to do so. Uh, looks like we are going to win because of Honey Badger. 
right? So then here we are now with an interesting perspective. We can totally do something about this. If we put the meat bone on our boy here, he's going to clear it. We can get double the benefit from giving him a little bit more uh, here. And we can also get a level up, which you'll love to see. I do see the direct benefit of the skunk. Don't think that I don't. Um, however, we should start to try to pivot. So how do we want to run this? Well, um, I don't see the long-term benefits of having a fish. So I'm contemplating pulling our fish, honestly. Our, our money maker is a money maker. And let's freeze a pill, roll once. I do see a loss on our horizon, realistically. I also do see the benefit of pilling an ant. If we sell our swan, that gives us a good amount of gold. It would be enough to do that and pill, but not enough for one round. So I think we take the direct benefit here and then the side benefit. We end our turn and next turn we assume we lose. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't have frozen that snail like that. And we can pivot through some of our options. I think the fish has got to go, unfortunately. I think that that is just where that is. Uh, the fact that you spawned an extra little friend there is unfortunate. And we don't actually get to run our boy here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pill. Just to get the buff going. Then we're also going to run deer. Because deer is freaking awesome. Then we're going to unfreeze our ants. We're going to roll once. Weigh our options. We are definitely going to take that. We are looking for another ox. And we're not going to get there, unfortunately. I will... Freeze you for the future potential. Get you one step away from glory. And end our turn. Realistically, we get the ox up. We get the deer up, and then we pivot out from bunny to penguin. Early penguin can pay some serious dividends for us. Please kick right through. Um, excuse me, you're you got a little bit stronger than I expected. But for every oh no, was not ready for that. Fat elf. There's the ox we've been waiting for, and. Level two and three. We're only there to get two stand to get to get two benefits. Um, who dares wins though? We get two attached. I do see the direct benefit here. And then who dares wins? I do like a good shark. Ooh, okay. I think we're gonna have to lose our swan here. As much as I love my swan builds, I think we're gonna have to lose our swan. And then where we can shuffle around a little bit. So we'll keep this we'll keep the shark on deck. A little bit disappointed that the bunny doesn't double dip like that, but that's okay. That's okay to lose our penguin. It really does not do the work for us. My ox is infinitely better than your ox. And we're gonna take a dub on that one. Right now, this is where we get to an interesting situation. Um, I do see the benefits. The rightmost friend plus three plus, plus three. That is a sick gain. It really is. I see the potential here. Lose a lose a couple options and we can we can get there. So hear me out on this, right? I think we can do this monetarily. I'm going to kill the rabbit, give the benefit to the shark. Then we are going to pill the turtle into the shark. Yes, it works. Kill the turtle. Which thus gives him melon armor, making him a freaking tank. Then, bring in the ram. Roll. Freeze an extra ram. 
freeze a cow. Yeah. Or do we just go holes bar on everything else, really? I mean, we will lose the scaling on here, but when he dies, he spawns a 10-10 boss. It doesn't get better than that. So perhaps having the extra rams to just make our shark insane is not the worst thing in the world. Um, to make that happen, though, I do think we want to save. And we could totally take that. We could also totally take this. We don't have anything to really make it pop, though. Um, I think right now we let that one go. I mean, an ox, an upgraded ox would be the world. I do think we move him for the chance of an uh, upgrade here. So let's let's think this right, right? So the sheep dies, gives him one buff. Then the ram dies, gives him another buff. So there is no direct benefit over the deer. In terms of that, anyways. Um, and actually, we, we will freeze this for the sake of upgrading our shark more. Getting a level 2 shark would also be very helpful for us. And I think penguins gotta go. I think we gotta push him. Uh, it was helpful for getting us up there, but we can't rely on it, essentially. If we rely on it too heavily, um, also your hippo is a hard counter. Thankfully, we're gonna lose. <laughs> Uh, we're, we're gonna take a fat loss, okay, understood. So, yeah, so we can't continue to rely on it. So, I still will want to make this happen. So, how are we going to make this happen? Well, Shark gets buff. We roll. We don't get the pill, unfortunately. We do sell the penguin. Get two layers. Of great success. We sell the cow. Do we take... Do we take the deer? Is splash damage worth more? It might be. I think it is. We roll for future potential here. I do like that. And if we lose, it's game over. So unfortunately, we cannot make the snail work. That's a very unfortunate sign. Also, your hippo is absolutely insane. I would have liked that to do a little bit more damage. Thankfully, you'll tank through most of the damage here. Um, but you're going to beat us on a honeybee. That hurts. That hurts because we had a pretty decent squad, but we'll run it back. We learned some things. We learned some things here. It is not all a loss. Listen, I see the fish. I will take them next time. But let's start with the mosquitoes and hopefully get a, a pretty cheesy win here. We are the flooded arms. I, w I was thinking the flooded mines, but the flooded arms also work. So snipe everyone on their team. That would kind of work better, but we'll still take the dub. Well, once, give me a fish, no fish. Do I want to combine? I think we do. I think we do. This just gives a staff bonus. Yep. And then turn, and I think that's just better than not taking the stat bonus. It spreads out our stats a little bit better. Very similar build. Except you're going to lose that bit almost immediately. And that trade worked out well for us. So, normally maybe not the best arrangement, but better than what we had. Um, I will... I will do something to this effect.
Perth gain two attack, okay. Well, I think right now it would just be a better move for us to take the crab with a more well-rounded team. I see it, I respect it. So we're gonna basically buff the ever-loving daylights out of, I guess, the fish and maybe the crab? I don't know. I mean, fish and mosquito is better. So that's, that is what we're doing. Nice trade. Let's think about this. So what do we want? What do, what do we stand to gain here? I mean, do I really want a sick hedgehog? Not particularly. I think we just spend this time trying to get there. Do I really want to? Do I really want two hedgehogs? I, I mean, two badgers? Not really. Um, yeah, I can do a dodo. That could work. So we take it on our fish and our dodo, and then just make one dummy strong unit. And at least that'll hold us when we try to figure out a better strategy for us. Uh, I see your strategy with the ox. Well done, that was the strategy last time. And it really did not work for me, so I hope it proves better for you. By that means you're gonna freaking beat me. Understood. So glad the strategy worked for people other than myself. Um, there's the ox, however, and we are going to be Killing. So maybe this is not a horrible, horrible uh, part to pivot. So realistically, you come in, you come in. That makes sense. That makes sense. Giraffe. Then you go forward, somewhat. Fish leads, badger finishes. I messed up somewhere. Do I want the fish? No. Do I want any of these? I mean, a sheep would be greater benefit. I suppose that. And I mean, I could just freeze pro. I mean, listen, I could also do the spider and then hope for a better tiered animal. So I will. This is my this is my plan. I'm gonna double down on Oz. We buff the ever-loving daylights out of the socks so that it is a freaking monster. And hope that we outbeat the scale. And it looks like we might. Your steampunk goggles on your hat looks fantastic, sir. Sir, by the way. Uh Dodo, yes please. Uh actually hold up. Think about this. We cannot buy everything here. It's just a fact of the matter. So in what order do we want to purchase? Well, I think Ant is a definite because it is a boner. Okay, so we didn't get the direct benefit that I was hoping for. Now we can buy two animals, right? I think that we have to buy the Dodo and we can buy the spider to start. If it bites us in the butt, we have a sheep on deck. And we can totally pill it and sell it, and we will recoup the price of the pill. So that will not be a loss. Or we keep it because it's just good. What a concept. And we like it, love it, love it, love it. I guess we, yeah, we could get an extra concept as well. That's a nice trade. I will take that any day of the week, and we will lose, or we will win. We will win because our draft is better than B. It's not better than much more, it's better than B. Right, so let's see what this pays. There's the sheep that we want anyways. Do I want garlic on any of these things? Well, um, I suppose garlic on the dodo since it's probably sticking around. It's not horrible. I do think we want to freeze, freeze, because we can make that play next turn and lose the fish. Fish, sorry, your time is pretty much soon. Uh, do I want to double up on the giraffe? I don't think so. Like, it's nice right now for the benefit, but uh, I don't see that popping anytime soon. Which is why we're going to be doing it. I'm doing it 
tune it. I think we're going to have to pivot out of the draft because I've got too many things rolling right now. Um, I do respect the monkey. And I respect the meadow, which is essentially the exact same meadow than mine is, except my option is better than your rocks. Your dog, however, is safe, and I respect that. But I'm coming away with the victory, so it's loud on my knob, like corn on the top. Okay, so here we go. Fish is gone. Why? Because we need to make space. The real enemy piece. And then, what do we want to do here? Well, we, we roll. I see it. I respect it. I like that next turn. Giraffe, I think the dream is gone. But the scaling is nice. And I think you're going to be next on the chopping block. Just a nice little bit of it here. 21-7, so we need some health on him. How do we get some health on our on our big boy? That cool. Bye, honey badger. Sorry, didn't work for you. That is how we get health on it. So, this is when we pivot. Do I want salad? No. Plenty of health on our boyo. Then, we think about the situation. Well, we're going to be spawning plenty. So, we're going to freeze you. Freeze you. Hope for a pill, there it is. Ox goes. Or sorry, uh, cow goes. Then we only have three left. I think in this situation, we take the shark first. And then we have the spider on deck for if we want to run that route. And I do also see that I think that the gator is just straight up better than our rhino and we're gonna pivot into that as soon as i can see what we're working with i mean that was kind of a nice play so i should shut the heck up also i respect your bison and i'm terrified of it frankly i'm hoping that my ox can stay alive just long enough to do some damage but it can't so we're gonna be taking that out here okay where are we at now Two lives left? Does that make that? Yeah, two lives left. Okay. Well. Dodo gets that buff. We then upgrade everything that we have at our disposal. We then... Can only buy one more unit. So we must think about this wisely. You're definitely going to get sold, so we can roll once. What does this do for us? Well, we can do some funky business where we've got a respawner sheep or a 2-2. Two -two. I see a couple different avenues. You benefit you, but you are just better. 8 damage to the last enemy is kind of nice. I think that's just the power move that we need to, to roll. I will freeze you. We don't have time for you anymore. And that's our strat. Do we want to get away from the sheep? I mean, we might want to just drop him in for the health benefit. So, I'll keep him for now. Because if I'm not mistaken, he gets a 1-1 one, one over whatever we drop in as the highest stat. So, that would at least bring him to a 7. Nice snap. Your fish is insane. Thankfully, that's not going to matter so much. I think we're going to take the L here. And your scaling is better than our scaling. I think we got to do that. And then, of these options, that makes the most sense. I think this is an L. 
I think this is a fat L that we just got to take right here because we are not scaling faster. So unless we get lucky, uh, good lord, can I have three of my enemies? Thankfully, the stake was wasted on him. Please. Fuck that bison. Let's go, we live to fight another day. We live to fight another day, ladies and gentlemen. Um, okay. I see you. We can upgrade our crocodile or we can upgrade our rams. I can see a direct argument for either. Four four rams become, I'm assuming, six six rams. But I think the direct benefit here is just insane. Um, I also see the direct benefit of fly. So, excuse me. 16 damage to the last enemy. Yeah, that's insane. So, how do we how do we fit a fly in here is the problem. Also, if we put stake on the dodo, does it work like that? I don't think it does. So, I think objectively, the fly is better because it will spawn in front of him. Who dares wins? And there's the sheep anyways. So we've got some avenues for victory here. I'm hoping if we just survive a little bit longer, we're going to definitely get that upgraded ram. That's a nice snipe. It might not matter because his team is also insane. We shall see. That sucks. Uh, this is a bad help. Wow. Okay. We came very close. Uh, but alas, no cigar. Hopefully next uh, episode we'll actually come back with a win because I, I think I need that. I think I need that. But for now, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. As always, this has been your host, The Lost Yeti. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Super Auto Pets on Thursday.